welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna be reviewing the three new products from Aster and Bay. And if you guys saw my What's New video, oh my god, I feel like I'm saying that in every intro, but it's true, I'm just reviewing a lot of new products. Um, you guys will have heard about these, you know a little bit about them, but I wanted to dive a little bit deeper, especially now that I've had um, quite a long time to play with them and I've really been enjoying all three of them to be honest with you. So I'm actually going to start with my favorite one and that is the Avo Eye Serum and this is formulated with frankincense, avocado and green coffee bean oil. Um, really, really cute packaging. I love it. Mine are testers just so you guys know so they have the plastic roll-on applicators but all of them are packaged the exact same with stainless steel roll-on applicator so it makes it really easy for application all three of them and then the stainless steel keeps it nice um, and sanitary and also cooling when applying which is really really nice as well so the avo eye serum um this has a neutral scent if you want to talk about scents a little bit and most of the oils in these products if not all of them i don't want to say all because i'm not quite sure are cold pressed and when an oil is cold pressed that basically means there was no additional heat or oxygen in the pressing process so they don't lose any of the nutrients inside so they're incredibly potent and first of which is the cold pressed avocado oil in this product um, avocado does have essential fatty acids that help with hydration as well as reduce dark circles and wrinkles um, avocado is an ingredient that works really well with my skin. You find it in a lot of under eye products and I think it does a great job at hydrating. The texture of this is quite oily so when you put it on um, I think most of you are going to like it for the nighttime. but I have such dry skin and I'm really funny about the under eye area looking crepey at all. I want it to be as hydrated as humanly possible. Um, so as long as you give this a second to set in, I think it pairs beautifully on your makeup. It is what I prepped with today. I went in with the Fit Glow Beauty Eye Bright, um, Well People Concealer, and then a little bit of the Fit Glow Concealer. And I put a lot of it, and you can see my under eyes still look really nice despite all of that because they are so well hydrated. Other products inside that help um, hydrate and reduce dark circles, wrinkles, fight against sun damage, etc. are the green coffee bean oil that I already spoke about. Um, these coffee beans are untreated, um, so they contain all of their vitamins and phytonutrients as well. And of course, it's a coffee bean. It does contain a natural amount of caffeine inside. And caffeine is really, really great for reducing any dark circles or puffiness. Now, I get puffy every so often. Um, in the mornings when I eat something a little salty before bed, guilty as charged. And um, I think this does a great um, job at helping me in the mornings with that sort of effect. Or um, if you're hungover and your skin is really, really dry, it's great for that as well. There is also organic carrot seed oil in there. Um, as you guys know, carrot is often used in any products to help fight pigmentation. Um, so in turn, it's really, really great at reducing dark circles. And then there also um, is frankincense oil in here, which helps fight against signs of damage damage, damage, oh my god, and reduces any sort of signs of aging as well. So basically everything you could possibly want in an eye serum, I think this is a great job at that. My sleeping schedule is really gnarly and I do think my dark circles look a little bit better. I mean, dark circles, they're hereditary. There's nothing that's going to magically make them go away. Um, of course, sometimes mine look better than others depending on the sleep I'm getting, but that is a very good friend of mine. And if nothing else, it's immensely hydrating and that's what I use eye serums for. Next up, a little bit more of a makeup-y bit. This is the Lip Tint Oil, and this is this beautiful red color. I love the packaging um, with all of this. And this is actually a 100% organic product, which is really fabulous. It is formulated with sea buckthorn. Sea buckthorn is an ingredient my skin loves. A lot of Captain Blankenship uh, products contain it. I'm sorry, Ursa Major products contain it. And um, that is to nourish. It does also contain jojoba oil, which is to protect the lips. And um, this is actually tinted with beetroot and hibiscus, so the coloring inside is all natural as well. Um, like I said, it's 100% organic and can be used on the lips or on the cheeks. I really would only see myself using this on the cheeks for a really, really minimal makeup look because it is quite oily. This one here you will see has the stainless um, steel roll-on applicator. The others are just testers. So it's really, really cooling to apply. The tint of it is really, really subtle, so I don't really see myself using it on the cheeks but on the lips. I'll apply a little bit. When you first apply it, you're like, okay, it has decent color. And it really just shears out. Uh, that's how my tooth looks like blood. And you can see it's this really yummy, juicy kind of shade. 
These are meant to be more hydrating than your traditional lip balm and things like that, which I think at the end of the day they are. I just prefer how lip balms look on my lips, but if you're, if you're struggling, you find that there's just not a single lip balm on the market that helps you, maybe this is something for you. I just don't prefer the texture in my day to day as often, but I do, I love the way this looks on the lips and the way it picks up the light. It's really beautiful and I think would be a nice one for the handbag. Though it's not like my ultimate go to, I do think it's a great product, especially if you prefer lip oils. I just found with all the ones that I've tried, um, I don't prefer them over balms. And that is $22 and the eye serum is $32. So Aster and Bay is really at a quite affordable price point. Finally, I wanted to speak about the Tulsi Spot Remedy. Gorgeous blue shade, same packaging as all the others. It's in this, all of them are glass, by the way, which I love with the plastic tops. And then they have the stainless steel applicator, but ignore mine because mine just have the plastic roll-on applicator. So this is a $34 spot treatment. And um, that sounds like a lot, but spot treatments, of course, you use significantly less than you would something like a lip oil or an under eye oil because you're going to just be treating certain spots on the face. And um mostly at nighttime as well. So this is a blend of essential oils in there as well as cold pressed grapeseed and black cumin oil. I already spoke to you guys exactly what the benefits of cold pressed oils are, but those are to name a few. So the first ingredient inside is of course Tulsi. It is the namesake of this product. And this is also known as holy basil. This is actually a sacred plant in India and it is used very, very frequently in Ayurvedic medicine due to its um, purifying and antimicrobial properties. So it kind of makes it an ideal spot treatment because that's exactly what you want. You want to eradicate that little sucker big time, get rid of any sort of um, bacteria that is clinging to it so we can get rid of it as timely as possible. There is also um, an oil blended side here that keeps the skin nourished, um, which is the uniqueness of this product. So this basically wants to keep your skin as hydrated as possible. That way it does not leave any scarring behind because a traditional spot treatments will suck the life out of the product, making it out of the product, out of the spot making it incredibly dry and in turn more likely to leave a scar. This is gonna give you a little bit of um, hydration as well, but not hydration that's gonna clog the pores. Cause I know you're probably like, oh, I don't wanna put like an oil on top of that, it's gross, it's gonna give me more pimples. No, the oil blend in here is, um, is not going to clog the pores at all whatsoever. It is also formulated with tansy, and tansy is a really popular ingredient. Um, it is calming, it treats inflammation, swelling, and redness. Of course, we want to get rid of that as well. So between the antimicrobial, anti-inflammation, and redness fighting properties, while keeping it hydrated, it sort of treats the spot very effectively um, and timely, I will say, without um, any sort of dryness or scarring left behind, which is great. It is also formulated with yarrow, and yarrow has a cooling effect, which I don't particularly notice when I apply it, but it is supposed to. And um, it is maybe a little bit, yeah. And it is also a natural astringent. Um, the scent of this is very natural and herbal. And then the lip tint oil actually has a sweet orange smell, which is really, really beautiful. And then there is also a blend of essential oils in here that I mentioned in the beginning, all of which um, work together to help fight redness, inflammation, etc. So you just have a blend of ingredients working to fight against this spot, which I think is so great. And I had a little spot on my forehead that was just like coming back, coming back. I think it's because the way I wear my hair, I was trying to go an extra day without washing my hair these past couple weeks and just use plentiful amounts of dry shampoo, like, oh my God, ODing on the stuff. And um, I think just the oil from my head just kept touching that spot and I was getting a really gnarly pimple. I put it on there both times and it treated it so, so well. And I'm not really a big spot treatment person just because I don't get spots too often, but that one really took care of it. And like, um, like all the description I've already done for you would suggest, it left no sort of dryness behind, which was amazing because I hate the way dry patches and makeup sort of cling, it makes me upset. Um, it makes me not wanna put anything on it and just cover it up with concealer and call it a day. But that is it, you guys. Those are three new drops from Aster and Bay. I love how all these colors look together. I mean, they did such a great job with this gorgeous green, beautiful red, gorgeous blue. And um, I'm really a big fan of all the formulations as well. This is really the first time I sort of dipped my toes into Aster and Bay. So if there's anything else you would like to see reviewed or any questions, of course, you guys know I try to keep these concise. So if there's anything I missed, 
any particular questions you have, please do let me know. Keep in mind that my personal skin type is on the normal to dry side, quite dry under eyes, and I don't get, um, I don't have very problematic skin. It just gets easily clogged. So I have a little bit of a texture issue, but not so much acne issue, if that helps you with this review at all. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna shop any of these products right here, right now, I will include a link to every single one of them down below. I should be able to fit full ingredients list down below as well, so I will include that so you guys can delve a little bit deeper into that and see what works great for you. But these are some good ones, Aster and Bay. I am very, very impressed. Um, thank you guys so much for watching though. If you wanna know what makeup I'm wearing, following us on social, etc., it's always in that description box down below. Check it out and then feel free to ask me a question. And um, until next time, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.